Alright everybody, welcome back to another Dead by Daylight video. So, listen, as a lot of y'all know, this game is extremely, extremely frustrating at times. And I'm on the Dead by Daylight Twitter a lot, I'm on the YouTubes a lot, I am in Twitch chats a lot, and I see a lot of complaints. Some that are justifiable, some not so much. A lot of complaints though, a lot of people being very frustrated with the game, not having fun with it anymore, and things like this. And I know there's been a million videos about this subject, but something I want to bring you up is, how do I still have fun in this game? I've been playing this game for about three and a half years, and I managed to still have fun. And I've had people come into my chat, shameless plug to my Twitch, and talk about how they don't understand how I can find fun in this game still. Even when, like, I'm losing, they see me laughing, and they just don't get it. Now, I will preface and say, I wish I could give some of my apathy towards losing to other people. I think it would make things way easier for a lot of people. If I could just be like, hey, here's some of my not care, uh, you can have it now. I'll take some of it. But that's the biggest thing, and that's a mindset change, and I know that's easier said than done. You can't just do it on a whim or a flip of the switch, but... It really is the biggest thing and the most important thing. It's the mental you go into with this game. Now, if you are someone who is extremely competitive, someone who thinks that winning is the only way you can have fun, that's fine. I'm not going to judge you for that. I'm just saying Dead by Daylight might not be the game for you. This is a game with a lot of RNG, not just in the map generation, but also in the opponents you're going against, their skill level, the perks they can bring. There's over 200 of the fucking things. Um, the killer, their particular play styles. There's just a lot. And there's no way to, to counteract that or have an expectation going in. And I think it's the biggest problem people have is they set these expectations up before they even get into the match. Apologies, I had to, uh, had to burp a bit. So, how do we have fun in this game, then? Well, first things first. Change your mindset, lower your expectations. You are not going to win every match. Doesn't mean don't try. I'm just saying you're not going to win every match. Um, you're going to win a lot. You're going to win a lot of them if you're good enough. But not all of them. RNG will screw you over. Um, the, a teammate on the enemy team is going to mess up everything you're doing. There's a lot of things that can go wrong. One perk, one specific perk you didn't account for, can completely win a game on either side. If there's an unbreakable you didn't see coming, a deliverance, even something that you don't see often, like Nowhere to Hide or Grim Embrace or Thrilling Tremors, a lot of these perks can still mess up an entire match. Reassurance, there's, there's one for, for camping. But... Just go in with lower expectations. When when you're going into a match, never expect to win. Hope to win, of course, but don't expect to win. Which brings us to the next bit, is going for the win. I'm going to say something that is going to upset a lot of competitive players. Let me rephrase that. It's going to upset a lot of competitively minded players, not comp players. That's a whole can of worms. You don't have to get the 4K. Hell, you don't even have to get the 3K. It's fine. Even if you're a content creator in streaming, unless you're going for something like a win streak, which I'd still say you don't do, it's a lot of unneeded stress, no one really cares. <laughs> no one really cares. Even if you claim to be, I'm like the best player in the world. It, it doesn't really matter. Bad games happen. Even the best players in the world at other games still lose. It happens. We need to get away from this mindset of the only way you win in this game is if you get a 3K or a 4K. Behavior technically has never set a win condition in this game. Now, your MMR does raise based on kills and escapes. However, that doesn't mean they have said what is actually win that's on the technicality which some would argue is a win but but the point still stands and to that point a 3k is a win i don't care what anyone says that last survivor it's a 50 50 on whether you're gonna get him 
if you down one survivor, there's there's two survivors left, and you down one survivor, and you have no idea where the last one is, put him on the hook. This does two things. It stops you from having to go search for the survivor, have that one bleeding out, and the other one just hiding from you. It forces the fourth survivor to go somewhere. They have to go to the hook to, un to rescue their teammate. So it helps you with information and finding them anyways. Or C, they die, you get the 3k, and you move on. It, I don't understand why it's so difficult for some people. I'm not going to sit here and, and try to take your fun away. If your fun is from getting the 4k, that's on you. That's where you get your self-worth or your ego or whatever. That's on you. It's completely on you. But the biggest thing with trying to have fun in this game is setting challenges doing different things like if you main a killer and you're not having fun play a different killer try something different try some different perks try some perks you've never seen anyone use before try to make them work i did an entire three week stream where i took the aranids build for clown and i used it on every killer to see which killers it worked the best on i lost a lot of those games because that combo doesn't work that great on every killer but i had fun just trying it out. I don't use save the best for last on a lot of killers, and, and I learned some killers that it works well on. I learned killers that Rapid works best on as well. And Coop, there's a few killers I'm going to start running Coup de Gras on that I normally wouldn't have before. In fact, Coup de Gras became one of my favorite perks because of doing this challenge. <laughs> Just try different things. And I know I'm speaking from the killer's perspective, but this, this includes Survivor as well. Try other perks. Don't just run the meta. Don't just run, like, the stealth builds. Try try other things. Just try other things. Th there are options in this game. This game has so much RNG, so many perks, so many killers. And if you're still not having fun, you have no one at that point to blame but yourself. And I don't mean like you had a match that wasn't fun. I mean like if you aren't finding the game as a whole fun, at that point that's a you problem, not the game problem. And I, I just, it sucks to see so many people not having fun with this game and just still keep playing it, still be miserable. I've had a couple friends who had serious mental issues playing this game and forcing themselves to do it, and it's just something I don't want to see anyone else go through. And I know we're still ranting about this when I haven't even gone over some other things. Challenges. Just challenges. Instead of being like, I'm going to go into this match and get a 4K, be like, I'm going to go into this match and I'm going to do this. Something that's not the 4K. I do fishing streams with Xenomorph. I've done M2 only challenges with Chucky. I've done M2 only with like Huntress and Nemesis. I've done M1 only on some of these killers. I've done challenges where I never break a pallet. Uh, I got unlucky once and that was on the game, so that was not fun. But I, I never kick gens or. Uh, I'm going to not proxy camp or, uh, yeah, just, just these different challenges. Just try to mix the game up. And if you're still not having fun at that point, uninstall the game and leave. That's not me saying it in a, in a malicious way. That's me saying it in, you're not having fun with this game and you need to stop. What are you gaining from this? If it's not fun, why bother? And if you truly think this game is a miserable experience to play for whatever reason, that's fine. But the door is right there. No one is stopping you. That's all I'm going to say about it. I have fun in my own way in this game. Chucky has brought a huge light of fun to me as a killer player for a lot of reasons. But I was still having fun before that. And I hate to see this game devolve into the community it has because people don't know when to stop playing and it's so disheartening i take breaks i do i took about a six month break playing other games i took a break a couple weeks ago before chucky came out to prepare me to not get burnt out i take at least two days off of this game off stream i play other things i play valorant i play drg i play destiny I, I hang out with friends, I you know, I have my own job and things like that. Like I have so many other things that distract me from this game. 
And yeah, I talk about it every day, and I play it a lot of days throughout the week, but it's not overly consuming my life. Now, this video is stretching 10 minutes, so I'm going to end it here and say one last thing. Just try to have the fun you can, and if you're not, just stop. I'm not saying force yourself, but just stop. It's not helping you. It's not helping anyone around you. Alright, well, end of the video, so like and sub if you want. I hope this message reaches at least one person. If I change one person's mind and help them out a little bit, it's good enough for me. I'll see you all in the next one, and, uh, yeah. Bye!